chassis, cover, metal detectors holder, motor and wheel. Chassis is made of steel alloy square cross section to bear any stresses coming from any type plant. Adding to steel alloy is easy manufacturing and low cost. Metal detector holder is made of non-metallic material to avoid any electrical signals. The locomotion system we use the UGV system by using four wheels connecting to four DC motors. We use a DC motor with gearbox, 143 rpm speed, 50 kg in centi torque. We choose a desert wheel with a diameter of 30 cm and a thickness of 10 cm as so not to strain the sand and gives a great speed. Our system will consist of part robot system. The main robot will be in the field and the other will help us to do the mapping. We use Arduino Mega and interface it with C Sharp to control the robot with the laptop or joystick. We will use Silly Metal Detector with range 25 to 30 centimeters. One, uh, two in the side of the robot and the other will be in the front, so we can detect three cell every time. We will use our R proximity sensor and the ultrasonic sensor to differ between period and surface mines. Our communication system consists of the 3DR telemetry module, the receiver, and the transmitter. The receiver is connected to the laptop through the COM port to send the data to the GUI and the transmitter is connected to the microcontroller on the road. We use C Sharp programming language to make our GUI. The GUI consists of two main parts, the communication part and the map. The communication part will receive the data from the encoder to know the location of the road and the data from the metal detector to draw the full map. For mapping system, we use multi-robot, one robot on the field to detect the mine and another robot outside the field to send the location of the robot to the GO. Our electric system consists of two boards, one for power distribution and another one to handle signals and processing unit. Based on our calculation, we have used the fuses and tiles to protect our components from the reverse polarity and the high current. One of the problems we faced is the coil of the metal detector. By making our own coil, uh, we optimize between the covering area and the depth of the detector. 